Hi everyone, Lacey and Broody again from History with Cats, and we're here today with the second installment in our short series on the fall of Queen Anne Boleyn. Now most people know that Anne Boleyn was executed at the hands of her husband, King Henry VIII, because he wanted to marry a different woman as his third wife, a woman named Jane Seymour. But is there more to this story than just one man's desire? Well, that's what we're here to tell you a little bit about today. A lot of historians think that one of the king's key advisors played a very significant role in the fall of Anne Boleyn, and this man's name was Thomas Cromwell, who had come into the king's circle under his master, Cardinal Wolsey, who was Henry VIII's chief minister at the time. Now, Anne Boleyn was known to not really get along great with Cardinal Wolsey, and a lot of people think that Cromwell likely blamed Anne for Wolsey's fall from grace. Following Wolsey's death, Cromwell himself went into the service of King Henry VIII and quickly became his prime advisor and close friend. And some historians argue that Cromwell held a grudge against Anne because he blamed her for Wolsey's downfall. Now, other historians think that you can point to a very significant disagreement between Queen Anne Boleyn and Thomas Cromwell on the dissolution of the monasteries and the nunneries. Cromwell wanted to get rid of these religious houses so that all of their wealth and lands could go to the crown and would end up giving a lot of money to King Henry. But supposedly, Anne did not like this idea because she thought that these religious houses played an important role for the poor, and so she wanted to reform them, not completely get away with them, supposedly leading Cromwell to having a vendetta against Queen Anne, which unfortunately led to her death. 